lives at home and they're taking care of him. It's possible for a person, if they have the fear of God and they have the desire to please God, it's possible even when in the world for them to reach a very high place of virtue like that woman did. That's why the, the great saints say, it's not where we live, but how we live. That's, that's going to determine uh, a virtue. That's the important thing. It's not where we live, but how we live. Are, are there some questions you might have for the elder? Thank you. <coughs> A person determines from now in this life where 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 his soul will end up in the next life. When a person lives close to God, when he follows his commandments and loves, then he even begins to live paradise in this life. And follows his commandments, yes. Yes, I have a question about the manuscripts at the St. Catharines and uh, have they been photographed or microfilmed and are they available to scholars without going to St. Catharines? There's a, a monk there, Father Justin Justinus, um, who is responsible for the manuscripts. And there are people from all over the world that contact him letting him know of their specific needs and on microfilm or whatever he will send it to them whatever he can so the monastery tries to help the, those who are doing research uh, I'm sorry um, there's, a, there's an American monk at the monastery who photographs I'm sorry who uh, is the contact person for the manuscripts and the research and people from all over the world when they're doing research and they need something they contact uh, Father uh, Justin, and uh, he sends them a film or a, a photograph or something of the manuscripts that they're looking for, so they can do the research. Where was he born, and what moved him to go to St. Catherine's, and how old was he then? Oh, yeah, I think it is. 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 
The ancient Greeks said that whatever happens in your own house stays in the house. <laughs> He was, he was born in the, the village of Kranidi in the, in the Peloponnesus. So it's south of Greece. And this village produces the best oil in Greece and even internationally it's known for its uh, being the best oil. It's one of one prizes. <coughs> uh, he wanted from a young child he was very interested in monasticism, but he waited and he didn't go until he was thirty. There was a family duty. There's a thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a custom in Greece, an old custom, that you don't leave, the brothers don't leave until they marry off their sisters. And so he had that family duty. To not to to not leave until the sisters were married off, and so that's why he had to wait. So he worked he worked hard he worked hard helping the sisters financially, I guess getting a dowry etc. Uh, learned some letters, uh, in other words went to school, learned some things, and then was able to fulfill his desire. Και πήγα στο Σινά το 1972. Uh, and he ended up going to Mount Sinai in 1972. He's he's here in body. His mind is very much there at that place and he misses his friends, the Bedouins. They're very poor people. He says the question should rather be not how long has he been there, but what has he done since he's been there? <laughs> And I asked him, so what did you do while you were there? And he goes, I haven't done anything yet. Nothing, nothing important. This is prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. I have a question. Now, what was the motivation to become a monk and take on that type of commitment, such as celibacy and these, these types of things? What was the motivation? What was the drive? Why? 
για το κίνητρο. Γιατί κάνετε εσείς την υπόφαση να μείνετε άγαμος. Το κίνητρο ποια ήταν. Το κίνητρο ότι να είμαι ελεύθερο να μην έχω προκλήσεις και να μπορώ να δώσω στο Θεό ότι μπορώ και την ψυχή μου την και το σώμα τα πάντα στο Θεό. His motivation was so that he could he could give him his, his, his entire self to God, so that he wouldn't be distracted, um, so that he could devote himself completely to God and to uh, that's why he decided to uh, to take the path and not not get married and live a life of celibacy. <laughs> He says, that, of course, he's not saying that that the life and that marriage and life in the world, there's anything wrong with it. But he says that it does have to come with its responsibilities, its distractions, uh, all the attention it requires, and um, you, know, you have children, etc., that you have to take care of. So the uh, But that's why he said that it's difficult for a person in that environment sometimes who has a desire to follow God, to be able to follow it completely. Are there any um, writings from the Church Fathers at Yeron that recommends that us people in the world take a look at or read into? Αυτό που μπορούμε να προτείνουμε τα ασχετικά αυτά που έχει γράψει ο Αβάς δωρόθεος. He says that you can, you can get, your, get a hold of the writings of Αβά δωρόθεος. There's a book out with a DVD, you know, a CD in it. Um, those are really good. The writings of Αβά δωρήθεος. The ascetic writings of uh, Abba Dorotheos. He says he writes beautiful things, big things, in very simple terms. Also, of course, the Ladder of Divine Ascent by Saint John of the Ladder of Climacus. Ασχετικά του Αγίου Ισάκ του Σύρου και του Αγίου Εφραίμ του Σύρου. The ascetical writings of Saint Isaac and Saint Ephraim of uh, Syria, of Syria, the, the Syrians. Saint Isaac the Syrian and Saint Ephraim the Syrian. Και τους πατέρες, τους μεγάλους. Can you please repeat, Ava? The of who? Of Abba Doritheos and the, the, the ascetic writings of, of Abba Doritheos 